So I've been having a blast with my very first VR headset in the MetaQuest 3 over these past few weeks. And it really got me thinking, how good is it when connected to the Ally X for PC VR gaming? Well, here are the seven simple steps to get the Ally X all set up completely wirelessly with the MetaQuest 3. And let's find out how good PC VR gaming using the Ally X really is. So let's get set up and for step one on our Ally X, let's head to Armory Crate and simply open our pre-installed Steam app as we need this Steam app open at all times when we're connecting to our MetaQuest headset for PC VR gaming. Next for step two, let's put on our MetaQuest 3 headset and head into the Meta Store and let's search for a completely free app called Steam Link. This will allow us to connect to our Ally X completely wirelessly. It's totally free and with it coming in at just under 50 megabytes will only take seconds to install and takes up barely any storage space on the MetaQuest headset. And with our Steam Link app now installed, for step three and still on our Quest headset, let's now launch the Steam Link app. Click allow this permission pop up then the big get started button. Our ally handheld should appear here and mine is called Pete, so let's click on this. Then click the green connect button. Click allow on this, allow access to microphone pop up. And here we now enter this one time pairing code into our Steam app on our ally. Very carefully to make sure it is correct and press confirm. For step four, we now get this install Steam VR app prompt and this tells us to install the specific Steam VR app onto our ally to really make full use of the headset with Steam. So let's click install. Let's impress this install gray button and with it being just over five gigabytes, this will take a few minutes. For step five, let's get the best connection possible. So after the Steam VR app has installed on our ally, on our Steam app on our headset, let's select our ally, then press connect and it comes up with this prompt telling us that there's a streaming issue and that our ally is connected wirelessly and really does need to be plugged into an ethernet cable to our router for the very best experience. Now I'm going to click continue anyway and see what the quality is like purely using my ally on Wi-Fi. We're here in our Steam VR home and I'd say that for me personally the image quality isn't too great just over Wi-Fi but let us know in the comments if you think that this is good enough on your home Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to grab my Ally Dock. Mine is this really great Avanki branded one and link to purchase this is in the description below as this has an Ethernet socket built in. So let's connect our Ally to the Dock, plug in our Ally Charger into the Dock as we really need to be hitting that 30 watts turbo plugged in mode. Let's get our Ethernet cable plugged into our home router and now plug it into the Ally Dock so that our Ally is now wired. So now we're all set up on our Ally and Quest 3 headset for VR. For step six, let's now get some VR games from Steam. The two main ways to do this are of course directly within the Steam App Store on the Ally. On the right, scroll down to the narrow by VR support tab and enable the VR only and also the VR supported tick boxes. And here we have hundreds and hundreds of great VR titles we can stream to our Quest 3 headset. The other way is through the official Steam app. Scroll along to VR titles and it's a little bit nicer displayed here on the mobile app to choose whichever VR game we'd like to play. And for the final step seven is to play our Steam VR games by connecting to our ally on the Steam Link app on our Quest 3 headset. This takes us to our Steam environment after a few seconds. Then on the left control and menu button, open up the menu and head to library. Head to the VR tab at the top. And our VR games will appear here and I only have one at the minute. We can launch here or on this wall in our environment. Here in the game, I've put the graphics quality on high and this feels pretty good. Saying that this is running off our Ally X is crazy. But enough of this kiddie rec room nonsense. Let's now compare how good a native MetaQuest 3 app in the awesome Superhot is against the PC VR version of it running over Steam Link. So let's pick up our MetaQuest 3. Guys, I can't tell you how much fun I've been having on this thing since I got it two weeks ago, especially with Resident Evil 4, Mars 1 and 2, Synth Riders, Red Matter 1 and 2, After the Fall, Home Sports, which is basically Wii Sports in VR, 
and the incredible Batman Arkham Shadow. Let's load up the native version of Super Hot VR. And of course, this isn't a massively graphics intense game, so it runs absolutely buttery smooth on this native version on the Quest 3, and it looks super crisp. This is just so, so much fun to play, and it's a thousand times better in VR, as we almost tangibly feel the bullets will past us. It of course requires pretty quick reflexes, and so it will be interesting if the PC VR version running off our Ally X will still look and feel as good as its native version does. So on our Ally X, let's head to the Steam Store, narrow by only VR only and VR support to make sure that we get the VR version of the game. Search for Super Hot, and it's actually on offer currently for just $7.99, or actually even cheaper than this on my favourite third party keys selling website. So now I've purchased the game, let's install it onto our Ally X. With it being under 600 megabytes, it downloads in just a few seconds. Super VR is now fully installed. And remember that we need to keep the Steam app open like this for the Steam Link to work at all times. Our Ethernet cable and charge is plugged into our dock and we're on 30 watts turbo mode. It's important to note that my router isn't anything special. It's just this TP-Link AX3000 best-selling one off Amazon. Let's put our Quest 3 headset back on and now open the Steam Link app. Connect over Wi-Fi to our Ally X handheld, which just takes a moment. Pretty nervous how well this is going to work and we'll say right now. In our Steam environment, the super hot VR game already shows. So let's click on this to launch it. Wow, so okay, I will say that I don't know how well this is coming across in this video, which has been recorded directly from my Quest 3 headset, but while the visuals do look really good and are definitely more than playable, I will say that they are definitely not as crisp as on the native Superhot MetaQuest app. Like I mentioned, super fast reflexes is crucial in this game, which is why I'm testing this out and I must say that latency, while I wouldn't say it is zero like the native MetaQuest app, that this feels like it has very low lag. There's really no evident stutters or frame drops and this is extremely playable. And wow, guys, this is just super impressive. Remember that this is powered purely by the Ally X. And while the Ally is plugged in via Ethernet cable to the router, and streaming over Wi-Fi to the MetaQuest 3 headset using Steam Link, I think the fact that a PC gaming handheld like the Ally X is even capable of this at all is insane. So while there's no chance that the Ally X is capable of powering super intense PC VR titles like the amazing Half-Life Alex over Steam Link currently, and I would not recommend buying the Ally X just to do PC VR gaming as the native super hot MetaQuest app looked and felt more smooth for a superior experience. This as I say is incredibly impressive and it will only get better with future PC handheld generations. I'd love to hear your thoughts and tips on PC VR gaming, especially with the Ally. For example, I know that virtual desktop is another great way to do this, so do let us all know in the comments. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you could hit that like button and subscribe to the Pete Talks Tech YouTube channel. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Don't wait for things to get better. Life will always be complicated. Learn how to be happy right now. Otherwise, you'll run out of time. Ah, it's so tempting to think that we can only really enjoy life if our circumstances are much better. But we actually can learn to be happy despite the difficult times that we're currently going through, which is so awesome. So stay encouraged today, guys. Like I say, I've been having a blast with my new MetaQuest 3 headset. And check out these 25 surprising discoveries about it right here. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.